What's up guys? Here I am with my final video of the year about my legitimately most anticipated fragrance of the year. I hope you'll stay tuned, but before we dive in, I want to remind you to consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done that yet. Give the video a like if you get anything out of it, and let me know in the comments what was your most anticipated fragrance of 23, and what about the coming year? What are you most looking forward to? My most anticipated fragrance of 2023, hands down, without a doubt, was this fragrance right here, Mancera Intense Red Tobacco. You know, I was waiting for it to uh, come stateside so I wouldn't have to pay $40 shipping and taxes. It finally did on Mancera's US website about a month ago. I've had it for a couple weeks. I've tested it extensively, and now I wanna let you know my thoughts. I wanna preface this by saying, the original Red Tobacco is hands down one of my favorite fragrances of all times. I love the powerful spiciness that smacks you in the face. I love the oodiness. I love the smokiness. I love how rough and coarse and loud and just punch you in the nose that fragrance is. That's what I love about it. It is powerful, sweet, spicy, smoky tobacco. It's loud. It is insanely long lasting. And so when I saw they were coming out with an intense flanker, I thought this thing is probably going to cause massive explosions, light my house on fire. It's going to cause all of my other fragrances to cower in fear. What is this really gonna be like? So I got it, I sprayed it on, and immediately I thought, this is a lot different than I expected. Different than I expected because in the opening, at first I thought, I don't even know if this has oud in it. And at first I thought, this opening is smooth. I mean, everybody talks about the original Red Tobacco, how it's just, you know, the, the opening is harsh and a lot of people don't like it, but if you give it an hour, a lot more people like it. You spray this one on and right from the get-go, it seems like a more tame version of Red Tobacco. And so uh, the intensity of the spiciness is brought down. The oodiness, there is oud in the fragrance, but it's brought down and it's replaced by a stronger leather note. I think there's leather in the original, but this one, it's like oud was up here, leather was down here. In this one, it's like leather is up here, oud is down here. The original Red Tobacco, it to me, is a very sort of spiky fragrance. I mean, it, it's coarse. It's sort of like... Um, you know, if you could look at the fragrance profile like on a, you know, a chart, it would be like, <laughs> you know, it's just, it's got a lot of peaks with spice and sweetness and smokiness and oodiness. Uh, and that's why it's not for everybody. I totally get it. This right here is a smoothed out version of red tobacco. I don't think it's more intense in any sense of the word. I would say that maybe you could call it like refined red tobacco. Um, and, you know, if I'm going to be dead honest, I do not like this fragrance as much as I like the original red tobacco. I will tell you this fragrance, I would guess, is significantly more mass pleasing, um, but it's still a, it's a leather forward, smoky tobacco fragrance with a touch of oud and a significant amount of spice. When you put it side by side with the original red tobacco, you would think like this is sort of a very high-end designer version and the original red tobacco is like a very challenging uh, niche version. All of that being said, this is a great fragrance and if this would have come out first, then it would probably still be in like my top 20 favorite fragrances, something like that. But when you put it next to the legendary power and, you know, honestly, abrasive, in your face, loud, blow your head off, spiciness and power of the original, this one is significantly more tame. And so the things I love the original Red Tobacco for, I don't love this one for. I sound like I'm being incredibly negative, but I'm trying to be brutally honest. But let me bring it around to my honest thoughts. 
This is an awesome fragrance. It is a spicy, leathery tobacco fragrance that smells absolutely amazing. I will tell you, either I'm going nose blind to this one or I'm only getting like six or seven hours performance. I know that sounds absolutely insane. I will tell you, this is an extrait de parfum. It's one of the most oily fragrances I own. You literally spray spray on your hand and it looks like you took baby oil and smoothed it all over your skin. It is a dense, dense, I mean almost like fragrance oil level of concentration. Uh, so I'm probably going nose blind, but I will tell you a couple nights ago, I sprayed it on my son's hand before he went to bed. He loves testing fragrances. I'm not, you know, child abusing him. Uh, but, and the next morning I couldn't really smell it. So maybe it needs to macerate. That does happen, especially with very oily fragrances. It's like the, the fragrance oils need to be broken down by that fragrance alcohol a little more. Uh, it's still a, you know, it's still a good performer. Eight hours is good performance, but I'm not smelling it the next day like I do with the original red tobacco. Uh, again, I'm sorry I'm sounding so negative. I do abs <clears throat> absolutely like this fragrance. I got it for 162. I would feel a whole lot better if I got it for 100 or less, like you can get the original red tobacco. Then you're in designer territory. And as a designer fragrance, if I just would have bought this from some you know, like if this was a, I don't know what you would classify it. If this was like a Mugler fragrance, or I don't know, Dulce Gabbana, something like that, I would be like, man, this is a great fragrance. I still think it's a great fragrance, although I don't think it was worth, you know, the 162 plus tax, so 185 or whatever I paid for it. I still think it's a great fragrance, but I think if you want loud, punch you in the face, blow your head off spicy tobacco, go with the original red tobacco. If you want a super refined tobacco fragrance with some beautiful incense and beautiful spice and leather that you can wear in way more situations <clears throat> than you can wear in the original, I think you go with this one right here, but I think you probably want to wait until uh, it comes to discounters and you can get it for around 100, 110, something like that would be a killer deal. So I absolutely like this fragrance. I don't want to be confusing, uh, but it is much more tame to my nose. And I have seen some other reviews saying the same thing. Uh, it's still a great pickup. Uh, it's still a great tobacco fragrance. So make up your mind and let me know in, in the comments if you've tried this one. What do you think? How does it compare? It's more refined. It's more mature. It's probably better done but I like the insanity of the original a little more. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. Happy New Year. Have an amazing 2024. I'll see you next year. This is Justin, and see us since.